I don't see stress like this for my life inside the dark for the past two days. Mm. Brother, you are trying to book a ticket to go to East Africa. We try the thing and I say no, they come. Not knowing that the airline, they are experiencing challenges with online payments. So we call them this morning and we found out that we cannot pay the thing online. So we have to go to their local office. And we can only get that in Accra. And we are in Tobrade. So you can see me. That's why it's so rough. <laughs> so we are going to Accra station to go and get a car to Accra. And then we can go and complete the from there we have 11 hours reservation it's not easy at all Ethiopian airline why our location is Jemima and then my brother here an incredible guy he picked us up he's doing a little business this morning very necessary what's in there in Ghana right now in our country you are Either going through a lot, <laughs> well, not going through. or you just came out from a lot, <laughs> well, or you are just about to go through a lot. <laughs> Whichever way, a lot of people are going through a lot in this country. We've gone through a lot for the past two days, so we're going to complete it there. So let's go to Accra, European Airline Office. Understand it as somewhere around Google World. One, two, three. It's about three. We are the bad guy. Yeah. It's already in the final order. Yeah, two. Yeah. Yeah. Before you go, I say the money or go. I say. Hey, you are. Hey, you are. Alpha. Go, my bro. Charlie. Yeah. You go out, guy. Yeah, me not see. Guys, we have a bad guy. Sit, sit in the end area. Yeah, it's a high three. One, two, three. Okay. like this traveling and stress <laughs> buying a ticket online brother man, go, man, man don't go there but it's all good so we started getting these tickets uh two days ago and then we found out that like i said ethiopia airline they said that uh, they are having challenges with online payment so but they have an option to pay with uh, Zenit Bank and Access Bank. So I've asked a friend of mine to pay through Zenit and see if it will work. If it works out, then I can go ahead and forward the money to him. If it doesn't work out, then it means we have to be in Accra and then go to the. We're going with this, this van. It's a stopover. Some people are taking a pee and all that. It's annoying, but you don't have control over it. So basically, that is it. I'm really hoping that it will go through with the Zenith Bank so that we'll be at um, ease. Because the pressure now is amazing. Stupid goddamn day, we are still on it. <laughs> and then towards the airport. Con conclude this ticketing bullshit. It's not easy at all. And let's see, if we go, we're able to get a reservation, that's it. We don't have to keep postponing. It's very expensive. And I understand why people keep complaining that traveling within Africa is second. Very expensive. Yeah, so let's go. I don't know the name of this place though. and I 
but then the ticketing I have paid an amount I'm not supposed to pay the actual amount that I was supposed to pay they've added 1% to it, like 10% or 1% and Papa came to do a good job because it's Ethiopia Airlines, they had already closed but she came to delay them, delay them, delay them and then now we have we've gotten the tickets, even though I'm not happy but we have the tickets, so it's normal amazing my today's experience if you want to come and buy a ticket and you're thinking of buying it here at the airport I don't think it's advisable, it's very expensive what you need to do is to um, buy your ticket outside online and if you also have plans of changing any currency into dollars here at the airport it's going to cost you a lot something that I have learned the hard way today and it's going to be with me forever so um, if you have any plan like that I think this is a free advice you should consider the most important thing is that we have the ticket now ready to fly on Sunday to Uganda that's what is important I have a lot of expectation for this country. so we are going to Pema camp to stay there till Sunday and today is Friday we ordered for a boat so the driver is here on check it for our set to ride how I'm ending the day it's been very very hectic and uh, we couldn't stay at Burma camp the plan was to go to Burma camp but then when we got there there was a bit of a situation so we thought of um, going to Kaswa but when we looked at the traffic Kaswa hey, an hour plus and we were doing we are doing boat uber or boat because we did not come here with a car we look at the price and then go in there and then coming back to town and then go to the airport is going to be a lot of work so we got this um hotel here we book a hotel here we're going to be here for two days and then on sunday we will go to the airport because the airport, the flight is um, flying around 5.30 in the morning, at dawn in the morning. I've never seen anything like that, but it's going to happen. So it means we have to be very time conscious. So here is around um, Awoshi, very close to the airport, closer to the airport as compared to Kaswa. Yeah, so that's how this place looks like. A very moderate hotel room just that they have an air conditioner they don't have a water heater very bad unless maybe you ask for kettle but it's fine so uh, share with me your airport experience your ticket booking experience and all that I'm pretty sure somebody here will learn from it quick shout out to all my one cd gang one cd gang we are going to grow into a very serious serious empire okay we're also going to do a lot of giveaways maybe monthly giveaways and all that that is if you are part of my one cd empire 
and you can get to benefit if you are part let me know in the comment section that you are part of my one cd gang because even though people don't respect one cd but one cd can do a lot of things you can use it to face school bulbs and other things and buy fuel and go to places and i mean give exposure to all these students so that is it for now a lot of stories are coming up okay i'm going to see you again very soon and